See if it's pack him. Hello and welcome back to another revision, this time of the game Debris, and we will answer the question of how you could crush them, and whether you could, well that depends on your practice. Now, this is the game Tribune, it's a board game, but we will play it online. Uh, Discord just decided to close on me, and I'm kind of worried that my audio might be gone, but... No, it's not. It's everything is fine. Well, then we will just uh, loud and clear, as if this would not be the second take, and we would be worried <laughs> that this could be the third, or, or no. that we would have to record a third. No, no, rejected. Um, well, yeah, yeah. And so, by the way, we discovered there were some yeah issues in the public version. Small issues. So, uh, yeah, basically, sometimes you can't really play. Um, and so we decided to make a version from our God version. Uh, yeah, and completely re refurbish this one and upload it, I guess, today or maybe tomorrow. We will see. And by the way, but hey. uh, and and now we're playing, so that's great. Now you <laughs> opened up a attack, and I'm defending against your attack, which is also great. And so, obviously, if you're attacked, you you have to do something about this, right? And I'm kind of trying to go there, perhaps, or here, uh, mm. as this would just attack this. Get rid of it, so that that would be a nice thing to do. And you really invited me to do so. But yeah, I... by offering a fork. I don't know why. And so, when you see a fork, uh, go for it. This does not really work as you have this move. You can just get both of them out of the way, and that's not really good. But, yeah, but um, it's yeah, it's not that good because in the second move, you cannot split up in a convenient way, so the dark hexes are gone. Yeah, but that would be one very uh, yeah, that's true. I, hmm? That's true. That would be like very direct. Um, and it's you, more direct. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Now, the idea of this is that if I was to take, say, like this, you could then take here, and there is an issue. Exactly. Uh, if I take, something remains that would still defeat me. So, that is not a possible way to go forward. So, how would you deal about this threat? Well, you probably have to move away, say like this. And then there can really happen two things at once, I think. I would say... Uh, first being that you decombine in a way, but I don't think that's uh, very good in this case. You could just take here, take three things, and, uh, well, well, we, we would have a little bit of a trade, and you would have more than me. For mm. peace, exact. And, um, yeah, that would be bad, right? Yeah, so but maybe let's see how the game proceeded. Nope. Because you did not take... That's something I usually blank on completely. Uh, well, in Tribune, if you are not familiar with it, you are able to, well, restructure your army by putting pieces together and forming new units with different patterns. Uh, you can attack, of course, opponent opposing units and take them from the board and conquer the fields, but you can also try to command them uh, in this case, Max's forces were able to do that, and now he conquered oh. my unit completely. Uh, so I have two and three. 
Okay, two and three, it's enough. It's five attacking points against four. And now he can conquer this unit. And my plan obliterated in a second. Yes. Because now <laughs> he's strong enough. He can now defend this field. If I would now take, he could command my unit against my own unit and just take completely four. take this. And so my plan of, well, two is not enough, no, but it's four now. It was a bad decision. Yeah. yeah, so I basically gave this one an upgrade. <laughs> for a free oh. uh, That was welcome, obviously. And, and a Gatling gun. <laughs> and so you th threatened this one. So the threat is you would take here too, and that would re uh, revive this one and yeah. free it, basically. But, but no, that's that's just an awful move. You could you could take with this, and you can attack with here. And well, I was completely malfunctioning at this point. Yeah, so I just took. I did not take the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, the reason for that is I did not think that it would be that great. Now, I could have taken the whole thing with uh, this one. But I thought, well, this one is going to retake like this. And I just don't see it. I don't mm. see a good reason to do something like this. Uh, I'm really stuck here I don't have a lot of things going forward and um, I have still this issue t to like deal with um, and I didn't like this prospect so I just took three things and kept my three here in the back mm. a good choice I would say very good choice yeah. now it seems yet that you are uh, up just a little material now but don't miss that you are four pieces under your command and you can still kill them so you are massively up in material I try to restructure and well what are you going to do here? Yeah, you do exactly that and now you are up five pound points in material after a couple of moves this is usually not that great. I'm trying to attack you over the, yeah, these outside triangular uh, diagonals, uh, and you just defend like that. It's it's quite easy now. This unit is a little pinned now because the tribune is behind and you cannot move, but that's not really an issue. And so uh, something worth mentioning uh, is when I captured those, I captured with the two and I was always going to sacrifice them. Uh, I never had intentions of putting this one, uh, capturing with this one going forward as it was very early in the game. Now here we are again and I have basically I don't have to be wary about any threats as there is nothing left to threaten. I have already destroyed the enemy unit, so to speak, and that's quite nice, I would say. Mm. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, I think this was just to go forward, right? Yeah, trying to develop in a way. I mean, I have to grab all these tiny units as fast as possible and go to war. Otherwise, there's no way. But you are opening up the center stage and maybe with intentions of building a ballista straight down. And I yeah, just, well... First, I just jumped ahead. You were threatening to take two things and I just jumped and it's protected. Uh, and the uh, interesting thing is, uh, if this was uh, would be protected, uh, would be attacked by something that is not this unit, 
then that would have been a very bad move. As this one defends two things. Mm. They were uh, attacked separately by two different units, then this would not uh, be a sufficient defense. You could take one thing and then this one would have to move away and this is when you could take the other. Mm. But in this case, they attack and defend the same pieces and that's why this is fine. Hmm. If this one takes, I can take here and this one uh, d is not looking at here anymore. Yeah. This situation is a little bit entangled. Yeah, I step bit. out of the way. I do not have much, uh, many choices, because this one aims at these two fields, and so I have to go to this. The only other possibility would have been to combine up on this field, but. I am down in material. I need my man out there to hunt you down. So I just walked. And here comes the ballista. Hmm. Now, the threat is very direct. Uh, I'm threatening to take this and basically get three more uh, things involved. Uh, Maybe and that would be terrible. Let's just show. The golden uh, circles indicate that the ballista can attack an enemy unit on these fields if there is one, so it cannot move here. But this field is occupied by my unit, so you could take and uh, could conquer this destination field. Uh, and the turquoise circles indicate that the ballista could move there. And to like, show you how bad this really is, say I had a second move in a row. I would take here. You can only take three things back. So you would probably do something like this. And then there is a lot of threats here. Um, and it's just really bad. For example, you could, could do something along the lines of, uh, say, this. Uh, and bully the enemy. Mm. Yeah, and but... Ah, uh, you you need a double. I don't know. It's still quite complicated. I do not have a solution so far. But usually yeah. it's quite bad if there are six enemy soldiers directly at your dining table and saying hello. Yeah, so it's not really a um, like a sequence, but I think we would both consider it to be a very threatening situation. Yeah. That's for sure. So I'm That's blocking the path. Now, both of your units are shut out. This dude is protecting. This dude is protecting as well. And the service here. So the, the door is shut. Now he is in trouble. He has no backup mo anymore. And so... Yeah, you proceed on your way. And so the basic... Are, and there are two ideas. Uh, the first one very obviously being to take there. Mm -hmm. But uh, my th sneaky idea uh, is that I want to constrain your movements. Now, you only have this move, uh, Hexagon. And my idea was that in the future, maybe this would open up again. And then... I would have my eyes on this hexagon. So oh. in the future, you might not even have one hexagon to go to, and that would be very preferable for the attacker, you know, which would be me. And so I thought, well, that sounds kind of good. By the way, we have pretty much the same time. Mm -hmm. But I did not put my time to good use. Oh, I don't think that's so bad. Um, yeah, yeah. This dude protected by a whole lot. Every move you do is developing your army, posing threats, and going forward. And uh, what is my rider doing? He's riding along my own ranks and, and 
seeking maybe a destination field far away. Oh my goodness. Now, yeah. The idea of this is uh, there are two ideas really. Uh, the first one is to take, and the second one is to take here. This was uh, technically sacrificed two units, but still we have two. Then we are uh, we have three here. Uh, after taking here and being retaken, we would have four standing here, and so it would be basically seven attackers, which is fine. Yeah, and not to mention that you could as well. <laughs> what did I do? You can just. Tape. No, 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 no. It opened ah, up. Oh, yeah, it opened up here, okay. So, just opening this line of sight, uh, which I promptly closed, like this. Uh, the idea being that if you were to take uh, on this hexagon, then I would take with four. Mm. And uh, that would not be very nice uh, for you, so you probably don't want this. But this is actually the case I was um, trying to make. You cannot go in this black hexagon. Yeah. You cannot go to these two. So you're very much restrained. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you took here. Mm. But by this you gave up the defense of that, and so I could take there. Yeah, but... The only other choice would have been to go here to maintain uh, the defense of this spot, but yeah. And so now, uh, I I think probably the best thing, in a way, would have been to combine outright like this. Mm. Yeah, uh, and give away another complete unit after taking this i would be down eight points of material yeah Hi. this could be one idea probably uh i wouldn't even take though i think i would go here in the next move and just be a nuisance mm. um but like at least there's the future, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not a promising one. So this yeah. way you attack with two and th uh, one and two, which is uh, three, which is a devastating threat. Um, but there's a way to win here. Uh, maybe pause if you want to. Uh, you need to do something with this guy. Uh, and yeah, we will give you like five seconds. Like, Five, four, three, two, and one. Yeah, you have six pieces and you can deliver them on these three fields. And if you do it correctly... Oh. So, um, for the results. So you have this unit, which basically rules out this as an escape opportunity. Mm. So you need to get rid of this. Now, there's only one unit that really can get rid of this hexagon, and that's the archer on this hexagon. So this is a must, right? And now it's a question of where to put the other three pieces. You have these two gray hexagons here and here, and you need to give some attack. And, uh, well, the only attack you can do is uh, this one. Now, for the last piece, you need to discard of it, so this yeah. is just fine. So, if this spot would have been occupied by my unit, you simply would not have had enough space to do that. Yeah, for example, you had this position, this doesn't work. Yeah, it's not possible, but it this was. Is different, though. It works, and it's uh, a little bit sad as you can't really do something about it yeah i had 23 seconds remaining making my decision and it was wrong but i die my head held high 
at least I can attack your tribune before the sword ends this episode. I'm actually kind of curious, could I take? I don't think you can bring me down in one move. Oh yeah, you could do this perhaps. No, yeah, I'm not, yeah, not really. Well, if you, if I take here, oop, if I take, you can go impero, which is kind kind of funny idea. Anyhow, um, I I did not do this, uh, as it would have been really unnecessary. But <laughs> I, I just I just took. Thanks. For ending my torment. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I think uh, that wraps up the whole thing. Well, thanks for your participation. Uh, this game is pure beauty. It's amazing what you can do on this board if you consider uh, restructuring your army taking impro or attacking, just harming another unit or taking it completely. There's so many things going on on this board, so try it out. Um, go to www.tribun.org. Uh, tribune, like written here in the background. Uh, not Tribune, but Tribune, a German well, a way of, of writing this word. Without um, E, especially. Without any, yeah. Uh, what else? Well, we decided we will go to an exhibition in the Netherlands at the end of 2024. So maybe we meet there. Um, and until then, we will go on, develop our game a little further, uh, and supply you every Friday with best tactical battle board gaming so uh check out the descriptions below uh there are some nice links and and so such stuff and well see you next time see you soon on tribune